In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a business expense. And you've got the tab here on the left called business expenses. And here you'll be able to see a list of all of the business expenses that you've entered in. And you can enter it with the plus button at the bottom right to register an expense. Or you've got the quick fast option at the top to be able to click on the bottom left button, which is expense. So let's click on an expense here and you'll open the add new expense category. You have the option to be able to add your business receipt, which is always good practice. So if you have a PDF, then it's already on your computer or you want to snap and take a photo of your receipt. If you click on this button here, you'll be able to upload it from your computer or take a photo directly from your phone. So clicking on the business receipt will load it into here. You then need to put the date of the receipt. So for example, this was a receipt from last week. And the amount of the actual um, expense was £13 for some train travel. So we're going to put the description in here. So it was a train ticket. And then you've got an expense category which you can choose from the bottom here under travel. If it's a recurring expense, you can select here to say the frequency of the recurrence of the expense. Or, and you can say the end date when, so for example, if you have a phone bill of £10 every month, that's going to be on until the end of the year, you could set that to the 31st of December. We're going to switch that off for now and then you list here how you actually paid for the expense. So for example, I put that on a debit card. So you select the debit card and press the save and that expense will then be saved under the 15th of January for £13 and that was created successfully and that's your confirmation message there. If you go back into the expenses screen here, the business expenses, you can go back in to see the 15th of January, our train ticket here. You've got the um, column here which shows that you've got a business receipt. And then if you actually click on that, uh, you can go again and be able to see the receipt and you can download it or you can change it if it wasn't the right receipt that you uploaded. Or you can go in and edit the receipt if you remember that you didn't pay by debit card but it in fact was a credit card or something and then you would just update it here. So all of your business expenses get listed here and they're all categorised according to how you've paid for your expenses. And then you can see a quick overview here by week, month or year to just be able to see where, whenabouts your money is flowing out. And all of these will tell you how much you spent on any particular day. This column shows you when they're recurring. This one shows whether they've got a receipt. And if it's recurring, it tells you how often it's recurring. You can sort all of your expenses by category, by payment method, by description, by date, and by amount. And whether you've got a receipt or not. So this will list all the ones you've got a receipt for, or you can list all the ones that don't have a receipt if you're needing to collect those. And then again, you can have a look to see any that are recurring and those that aren't recurring. And again, everything is exportable through this button at the top. So you choose your dates and you select your method, whether you want it to be Excel, PDF or CSV. And by pressing export, it will download it to your computer for your records.